Now Jane Taylor acting to season six, episode six of Buffy. Last episode was called Life Serial, and pretty much it was the three skewed stooges harassing my daughter Buffy. Jonathan, Warren, and Andrew, they decided to do several tests and um to basic and abilities to see what what is Buffy's weaknesses, strength, how much how long can they agitate her, um, which is basically their campaign of how much can we harass Buffy. AC is blasting, it's kinda hot, and I just washed my face and I don't want y'all to see me sweating like 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 a like a, a honey roast um so you know the continuation of the episode continues with buffy um after what happened between buffy and angel she comes back home with some food some kentucky fried chicken while the school was all they already ate and they're like hey buffy like how was the meeting how was everything and she was like it was fine um can we just move past it you know i mean i brought your food and it's like well i'm still hungry and everybody's like talking but giles he mentions what is uh, let's discuss what Buffy's future plan is because you know she's back alive they gotta you know the house gotta be paid that big ass debt whatever that plumber cost was she can't get a loan so what is the plan you know besides just being a slayer and you know cause you know Buffy don't really know what to do right now she just came back literally within a week and they're already like wait, wait, wait you should do this and this and this like not even let her fully process so Willow and, and you know, there she's like, you know, you should join us for class. Even because, you know, she took a semester off, well, basically two semesters off. And she can't register because it's mid-semester. So she has to wait until the next semester, which I'm kind of, I'm curious about how she's going to be able to pay that due to her having to pay for, you know, whatever. Um, You know, Buffy goes to Willow class and they, it's like some type of advanced shit. Like Buffy is literally lost. Don't even know how, I mean, I don't know how, ex I mean, I guess it was easily accessible to come into college because um, Buffy came in that bitch front row and the teacher never said, who are you, whatever. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of prints, a lot of professors don't always remember people's faces. I mean, well, they try to remember names, but they try their hardest to do faces. And just seeing this girl that never was in the front row before, or at least missed half the marking period maybe, and he finally sees this lady, and he's like, he didn't even question. He was just like, oh, I'm looking around the class and ignoring this one blonde in the middle in front of me, but she's in there completely lost. Like, but Willow and all these other students answering questions in the most, like, complicated as sentence format, and Buffy, she can't keep up. She walks out the hallway while Tara and Willow is talking about their classes, and Tara's like, oh, you don't like that class? It's probably the best class there is. And Buffy's like, yeah, uh, maybe, you know, I need to find something that's more small, uh, more kind of less intense, you know, maybe something for beginners at this point, because I am just got back on Earth. The trio, the clowns, decide to come and park their little van outside, or I mean, or mostly just be a prepared van that's set up with all this high-tech monitoring shit to watch what she's doing. Warren, he walks in the hallways, wants to get another unwarranted kid, walks in bumps a shot of Buffy and she's like what the fuck like come on now pulls the hood off looks into the camera whatever and realize that they like they put some type of device and onto Buffy to where they can manipulate um stuff around her so while the um so you know after this they get this like tiny device where everything like, sh like everything around her is moving hella fast while she's stuck in this time so she's moving slow in time where everything is like speeding like around her to where she thinks she just left class like two minutes ago while everybody's basically in the fucking afternoon going home for dinner. So every time she would run into like Willow or Terror, they're like, oh, we didn't see you in second period. Oh, we didn't see you in fourth period. Oh, we didn't see you in the seventh period. Find out that they're manipulating time. So everything's moving fast around her while she's moving slow. She goes under the table and she like... She's like, what the fuck is happening? And then she realized that she's been bugged. She obviously gets, you know, the device. She starts to zoom in. And, you know, the, the clowns is like, oh, let's destruct it. They destruct it. And Buffy's back on. So, you know, Buffy, she obviously tells everybody that what just happened. But Giles is like, maybe it's because of all the stress she's been going through. She gets a job at Xander's construction site where the guys is already misogynistic. They're like, oh, well, this little lady can't pick up this. And, oh, she ain't built for this type of this weight clearly fools them um she's helping out making a fool of all these men just for the trio again to follow her at the construction site and summon these fucking water demons whatever the case may be and she's fighting them and she kills them while all the other all the other construction workers got thrown the fuck around i've seen the process of killing these demons she punched the boss tony or moved them or caught me basically he got hurt and then everybody else is like I didn't I didn't see what she was seeing. I, she just threw me around. 
And so Xander basically had to fire her because he didn't want to seem like, you know, weird for believing her that she's fighting demons. So she waited until she left and was like, I understand you. That means that somebody's playing with you. Then Buffy goes to the magic box where this is her third job attempt at this point. And I mean, well, this is her second job attempt of this fucking episode. And the day keeps repeating. Jonathan does this spell to where she keeps walking into this loop of two, I mean, some cut two customers having her, you know, basically ask for preference to go for and also getting her this mummy hand it keeps spinning and spinning and spinning until she satisfies the customer it takes a few trials before she obviously finds a way to loophole it and where she can not only like avoid getting choked by that mummy hand but in the process satisfying the customer the spell wears off after a while and they're like damn like buffy she kind of fucked us up she realized so she's like already like she's already like exhausted mad as fuck like at the limit she goes to a spike to go to a bar maybe to find out what's been causing all this shit and in the process they have some type of kitty drinking um what is it called some type of game of cards poker and buffy just getting drunk she's like she's just judging spike from afar getting drunk until so she just basically just says fuck this game and they dip while that they realized that the fucking trio is outside her fucking door i mean outside of the fucking bar and you know she's like that's them i seen that van all fucking day she goes to attack and then jonathan makes a spell on himself to where he is this demon it's like oh i'm the demon that's been stalking you and you can't destroy me or whatever and um buffy she's like she's she's like what the fuck is going on but she's so drunk that she really can't fight him because she's so drunk and you know they the, the van obviously vanishes they, they they start worrying about the van and jonathan runs off in the distance after doing some smoke thing and then they leave and spike and i was like yeah something is definitely following us but jonathan i was like well we kind of flopped but now we know her strengths and weaknesses and yeah we can get her somewhere else um it ends off with you know buffy recovering from being drunk and she talks about chucks and jowls and she complains about her life like the situation is trash i feel like I'm just getting set up and you know he tells her that he'll help pay for all her expenses like he gives her this bill and she's like you know when you're here um I feel safe and it kind of it pans over to him having this word expression which I don't fucking like so anyways let's dive in a Halloween episode everything on this table is half off including the table buy one eyeball get the second one free unless you learn how to roll that I, I, I fucking roll a skate he hated him for the taste Oh, Mayhawk. Oh. Uh, hello, Ahab. A little help, please. <laughs> ah, right now. What kind of angel called Charlie? We oh, Charlie Angels? Just skate around with perfect hair, fighting crime. She's so real. What's your costume? Work called Shiver Me Timbers. Ever play? Uh, oh. Willow could use some help in magical texts. <laughs> I'm all over it. Shiver Me Timbers? Have you ever play Shiver Me Timbers? Y'all role playing? Not really much for the timber. Cheeks. Or just the cutest thing. But but I know. You said, I know, but look, with the right. hat and the, the wart. Oh. Damn. Bell. Neck. Look into it. Come with a nice leather collar, does it? Bell neck? What are you I was going to neck it because that's what I do. I go or a please and I take what I want. And what's your excuse anyway? I thought you had it to the brim with custom. Make some so. blood spicy. Buffy didn't even look inside the ditch. She didn't even look Can over there at the bookshelf. Go a bit wonky if you're cramming too close. Thanks. What is it? How does it? I mean, like I know what it is, but how does it look? Patrolling. Hello. Oh. Huh. Uh, I honestly didn't even hear you say that. I should stay. It happened to a 50 foot Giles that squishes <laughs> annoying TV parts. <laughs> We've got a ton of bagging to do here. Uh, actually, now what about costumes that take over your personality? Or oh, yeah. Or Irish fear demon thingies. Oh, oh yeah, season three. And, history suggested what happened to one of us. and I got mad as fuck I, at everybody. And now Zaz is out here getting fucking attacked by 85 fucking zombies. Because y'all bitches want to all party because y'all didn't want to talk about Buffy. Oh, Buffy to talk about it too. Well, fuck, y'all didn't talk about it. She just said come over to the fucking dinner party. And y'all wanted to bring everybody in the fucking world. And they don't even know Buffy. So at the end of the day, both of y'all, all both sides of the group is fucking stupid. Damn. So made me fucking turn off my light. Damn. What the fuck about to happen? That music, you know, it's not about to be good for him. Yeah, I know. Um, no. He bought that shit like he was Michael Myers. 
You imagine just walking up to this man's house on Halloween and you see him with this big ass butcher knife talking about some happy Halloween? No. Or go boom. Damn, they were there uh, all night? That was the most incredible thing I've ever experienced. You know, she 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 excited that money. Or I could whip up a jaunty self cleaning incantation that'll be like fantastic. You know he don't he not you know he don't want that. Uh, splendid for the turn out. Completely different though. You do this every Look. night? Every time I close out the cash register. The dance of capitalist Is he mesmerized like that? I'm gonna marry that girl. Oh! Uh, She's 15 and my sister Stoney. Not sis. Oh. Really? No. Oh, wow. We're getting married. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That, oh, wow. That's. Wow, well, man. I, I swear to god. Said he couldn't imagine uh, the rest of his life without me, and then he gave me this. Which I'll be paying for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Oh my God! Pip. This woman here. This woman here. Thank you. She eat. Y'all was like, "What did I tell you about these fucking spells?" Look at him, Tara. They Tara, like that's enough. Why use magic when you can do something naturally? I mean... Well, you can fight monsters naturally. Sticks and stones. Don't recommend it, though. I mean, what, am I the only one that's not seen a problem with this? Like... I'm a fly. What's your problem? Well, I just wish that you would stop and think about what you're... You know, oh my Sorry. god. Sorry, which is why we told her no. Right. Just a little one? No. Over my dead body. No, fetus. The kind that doesn't come back. Tomorrow? Yeah. I'm um, sleeping over at Genesis. Oh, yeah, remember? she do have, yeah. Well, do you remember? Tonight? No. <laughs> Kids. I, I don't know. Giles? Abs really not up to me. Oh, oh yeah, he isn't the dad. I'm sorry. It's for. He grabbed a wooden stick that fast. Hey! Oh, Perv. So Perv? She just walked the I fuck down the block. Uh, the mominator thinks I'm staying at yours. Oh, so. I hope they fell for that one like own a TV. <laughs> so, where are we meeting? The park. Hey. Oh, it took you so long. Uh, I stopped for class. John, like, 14, 15? What the fuck is this? That man looks like he's 20. Justin. Back up. Back up with my daughter. I've seen you around at a couple of parties. Uh, oh, you was at a couple yeah. parties, huh? When the fuck did time do that? Hey. When Buffalo was dead? And stuff. Um, um, what's she seeing, sir? supposed to be really pretty, and you don't want to get them mad. Come on. Come on. You fled somebody's car? <laughs> Alright. So it's a bird cat. Mm, Justin and Lil. <laughs> uh, the moon and the stars look lovely tonight. Hey, you think when we're done with this juvie crap? Oh my energy, god. We got these motherfuckers talking about. Just one more. All the way? you going all the way to hell. What about that? I'm paying for the house. Oh my god, sir. Can you live in? No, sir. I'm sure you think about it with the arrangements of the wedding and something. You've got the rest of your guests. Hey, lay off, man. If she doesn't want to. I'll do it. Why would you want to do it, Don? Look, you don't have to do this. Sir! Fuck off. It's okay. Don't smile. You shouldn't order mess with those. They're treat. No, he don't got a treat. What if he actually nice, though? Like, you know, what if he nice? We are so. She wanna. Where'd you get the cool toys? Time for the treats! Who wants to help Daddy in the kitchen? Daddy? Oh, get out! Here, Sally. Use more hands. Oh no! Oh no! He shut the door? <gasps> oh! I put no! I was about to say. What if the motherfucker swinging is a vampire? And he, one of them is! Not my old man! He just wanna serve us some ice crispy cream! <laughs> he wanted to, and that's what he mean all the way. He's gonna kill, they gonna kill these girls! Well, they can't go, they ain't gonna kill Dawn, trust. Should we go all the way and turn them? What? No! So, I was Fuck! June wedding, but then Damn! I, you gotta know what to call them before they hit college. Yeah, uh -huh. Rupert is an exceptionally strong man. <laughs> <laughs> she 
say hell no. I know. I mean, I'm the luckiest ex-demon in the world. I mean, to be able to find the one person in, in all dimensions that I was meant to be with and, and have everything work out exactly as I dreamed. I don't think it'd be so much. But this is good. Mm. This is love and celebration and mm. definite wallow action. <laughs> okay. Right, back so, in time. once more to the breach. Mm. Here. Yeah, Julia. Sing it. You earned it. I did? Yeah. For keeping me more like frozen here. Put that shit right back on, bitch. <laughs> Put that fucking sweater back on, bitch. Losing your pulse. Yep, that's a big ass bite. This buff is too inside. Uh, no, no, she was getting antsy. She went to go find Spike to patrol. It was nice to be kept in the loop. Um, yeah, he's not in the loop. Honestly, I say that. I love it when they run. Um, sis, so, bye. It was nice knowing you, though. I'm saying, okay, yeah, please. Yeah, cool doesn't really bother me. And we're calling it. Me, <laughs> Superman? <laughs> No. I would think. But Todd? Another thing we have in common. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? Girl, you gonna give him a taste? I, I kiss all the time. Not Don't lie, I kiss a slut. Just, you know, with, with the lips and, and the pressing together and stuff. It was perfect. <laughs> cringing at this like it's not eating <laughs> so i know his intentions is girl into an alternate what? what all right no it'll be for like a fraction of a second all Let right well no you can't all right that's that. okay. <laughs> that's enough you two have been talking about me behind my back yeah oh god you know how that makes me feel yeah well though you're using too much magic if i didn't love you so damn much i would Oh wow! What did I say though? I said her magic gonna become a problem with them, and literally is like, oh my god, damn! Are you serious? Can you get this shit off my screen? How long is taking that man to chase that girl before she screams? I'm just curious. God, you are so delicious. Beautiful. We know that. We don't need you to talk about it. <laughs> a compilation of me yelling during this whole stream. I mean, oh my god! Damn! The no. pictures and shit, stop. Yeah, <laughs> like, gone. what the fuck? Gone? But what happened? No, it's okay. Giles was by here earlier looking for you these days, eh? They are. I did know. a sweep of the tunnels. Giles was talking about the cemetery. You have to find her. It's oh. not. Wasn't. She wasn't. Yeah, like we well, you know grandpa. Grandpa? Oh, you thought you ate. Not my papa, Giles. That's the wrong bitch. Dead as hell. Dude, that sucks. It do suck when you sent to hell. Don't. Here we go. I knew it the first time I saw you. No, you only saw it one minute. I just want to be close to you. Done. Just beat it. It's okay. Just beat it. Beat it. Ugh. Only hurt for they about to eat. This is me up. Oh my God! See, Dom, you're punished for life. <laughs> At this point, they're not your parents or not your family. I'm your fucking family. Yeah. She was. I, I didn't know he was dead. Living dead. Shut up. <laughs> How could you not know? Seen each other at parties. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> oh, like you've never fallen for a vampire? <laughs> that was different. It always is when it's you. Oh, wow. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you run. Oh, wow. She said, lovers are cruel. Lovers cruel. You scream. Dip. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Buffy let them leave and see another day. I knew there was something about you. Yeah. Get your ass back. Now. Sorry, y'all. He pin up a fight. I'm not even gonna hold you. He don't want to die. 
Here he is on the back. He'll be behind you. But, um, what happened to she not under girls, lying ass? She gonna kill his ass. Exactly, clean that pencil. I, I think I'm gonna turn in. Good night. Wow. Tara. Damn. Tara. Lovers quarrel. <laughs> The lion, the captain. Don't be too hard on her, okay? <laughs> he said you. He. What did he tell you about him? That's not his responsibility. Just nice. disappointed. Pretty much. Except for the bit about not being angry. Well, what do you want me to do? Reverse time and take it back? Because <laughs> I could probably. Don't joke. Honestly, joke. don't joke about that. To be um, honest. Um, forget. No, she didn't. No, she did. No, she did not. You're not mad? About what? She did. She's going to realize that she's doing that, though. Like, and it's not going to end well. Like, Willow's doing that, and Dawn's going to, I mean, Tara's going to realize that when Giles says something to her, and, well, and not in that circumstance of that spell, but when, when they talk about it, she's going to remember that shit again. And, I mean, how many times has she been doing that then? Oh, my God. So, you know, hey, guys, that was my season six, episode six reaction to Buffy. It was called All the Way, and clearly we see. Um, I'm going to divide it into three things, Anya and, and Xander, um, Dawn, and Willow and Tara. But this episode, like, I, once again, I always say, I mean, I told, I told you at the beginning of the season that I felt I'm going to be split off every time. And let's talk about Anya and Xander first because that's pretty much easy. Um, a pretty much easy dive in. I'm happy for them. Um, I'm happy that it happened e early in the season. It's, it's, you know, for six seasons and you now everybody knows that they're getting, um, you know, they're engaged. It kind of felt a little bit weird. I guess everybody was shocked, you know, or, or maybe they felt like it was just too, maybe everybody was just like, oh shit, well, since all this shit happens in this world about all the supernatural stuff, this is the most normalest shit I've seen. Um, I was doing the best. This is probably the happiest part of this episode just seeing them together and i teared up um i teared up because like um i mean my kids are getting older every episode so just to see him sit there and admire her and then say you know that he is that's the person he's marrying it was the cutest shit ever it was the cutest shit ever because like love they love each other with flaws and all the cutest shit ever they were just so cute the whole episode and I, I don't i don't know i don't know why i don't know why it fucks me up but it did like i'm not, i don't know how i'm supposed to see her and deal with those in the next season i don't know how i'm supposed to like just just continue to watch and watch and watch it and i'm getting closer and closer and closer to lose these characters when they basically became my kids and now one of them's getting married, like, <laughs> literally last year, you had a huge ass crush on Buffy, and then, that's my little nerd, <laughs> he's now he's a grown ass man, whole ass job, a whole life ahead of him, like, I can't, I'm sorry y'all, I'm sorry. I didn't even, I didn't even mean to fool on the side. I just, it's like you can't make this shit up. Like I've never been so attached to characters in my life. Like when when I watch shows, I have like maybe two characters that I'm obsessed with that like they will get me, and it's mostly always a couple. And I mean, typically if, if I was going by that standard, it would have just been Buffy and Angel, and nobody else would have mattered. But literally, the whole fucking cast matters. And every time something happens, I'm always, like, getting emotional because that shit hits me. <sighs> Alright. Then I gotta finish this review with a fucking fresh teared face. Wow. I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna be able to handle talking about them. But happy, 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 happy um, congratulations to my kids. And their marriage, hopefully everything is blissful. I just, I'm just so fucking done. <laughs> Always, I'm tired of being an emotional fucking wreck. Next part, let's talk about Don. I'm not mad at her. 
I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, like, over here, like, making jokes about the guy, whatever. But, like, she's young. You know, at that age, you're experimenting feelings, hormones, crushes. And, you know, she has a friend who probably was like, yo, you should try this. And I'm not saying that she's getting peer pressure, but she wants to try everything. You know, Buffy had a life where she, you know, at the age of, like, 13, she was out there fucking slaying and stuff like that. She fell in love with a vampire at 16. You know, she had to take the world several times. She's experienced a lot of this shit at a young age to where Dawn, she's been sheltered. Well, since she's not really real, but she's been sheltered from what she thinks of as, as the memories and plan. And she's, you know, and during when Buffy left, of course, you know, she probably went through it and probably was doing a lot of stuff. But it's been hinted that, I mean, obviously teenagers are rebellious. And, I mean, she barely doing like where I mean, yes, the stealing and sometimes, but, like, obviously, this, this behavior has been building up since last season. Um, but it is, it is sad. It's sad because she genuinely liked the guy. She trusted this guy. She had a crush on him. He took one of the most, like, precious moments of her life, which is her first kiss. And then you find out that this guy is literally a fucking vampire. And he wanted to basically take, basically took advantage of you. And the thing is, is that... I honestly don't know if he really liked her. I feel like maybe he did. Um, maybe he also was buttering her up. I feel like towards the end, he was definitely probably buttering her up. But I feel like for him, he may be possibly wanting her to join him in the afterlife. Like, I don't know. I mean, but I just, you know, I just feel like... So, you no, know, the vampire was cute. Um, made, like, the speeches he was giving her was cute. But then you realize that it's all bullshit. And he was never sincere in the first place. Um, and then them seeing each other at the, some party, which means that she's been lying and possibly sneaking out to parties already which she already it already been hinted because they already been doing the sleepover stuff for a while i just i just it, it would just say like you know that was one of her most like vulnerable moments and i'm just the whole time i'm just like this fucking dude is a clown this dude is a liar this dude is a scammer this dude is cannot be trusted um and yes like she she did call up buffy like she's like listen you had a vampire boyfriend too and she's like it's different well it can be really different because Dawn was hanging out with this guy. She didn't know he's a vampire. Buffy was falling for Angel before she knew he's a vampire. And then they distanced themselves from each other. And then they came right the fuck back. So to be honest, it was not different. Um, you really can't have a vampire detecting sensory, especially from Dawn's perspective. She's fucking 15. Well, Buffy should have had more of a... She's been a vampire slayer for three years. So you thought that she would have had like a vampire alert for Angel. Um, she did not. <laughs> um, but I mean... Dawn, I understand, but I do feel like, you know, they should have a talk with her about it. And obviously, I feel like Buffy at some point is going to have to do a talk with Buffy and with Dawn, you know, sister to sister. Because, like, this whole, this season, I mean, last season and beginning of this season, you know, Buffy hasn't bit, hasn't put her foot down. Since she just came back to life. And I feel like she's trying to be like that sister for Dawn and all that pressure for like her mom and stuff like that that happened about her mom dying. She just hasn't put her foot down yet. And Josh been keep even mentioning it several times about her putting her foot down and she hasn't. Um, I feel like that's going to come at some point. I feel like maybe something will happen for Buffy to like finally talk to Dawn or maybe they'll maybe it just will never happen. Lastly, let's talk about Willow and Tara. I already knew it was going to come. I already knew it was going to come. I said it last season. I said it in season four. I said it in season five. And I especially remember saying it a little few episodes ago that this was going to become a problem because the first the first four and five you're like okay they're learning you know they're doing spells together they're cute ha 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 but then in season six when it begins you're seeing Willow do these spells on her own you're seeing her do a lot of spells of Alka finding and Tara you're seeing her do spells like it's not nothing you know like with Tara she was basically born I mean well she was she was she's been with she's been handling this for years you know and with willow she's been like she's still I mean, she's still like a freshly new witch she's started doing this in season two um and once again that's four seasons yeah um two to three years and stuff like that possibly now almost four of her being like a wicca but um it's i understand now i mean i feel like i already understood what giles meant but it reached an extreme because for me I was like, Tara had me. Well, Tara, I understand because once again, Tara always been mentioning, especially season five, that Willow has been exceeding in magic to the point that she's exceeding her. And I feel like when she, if she, the closer she's exceeding her love with, the closer she's getting to that dangerous magic, which can be very out of handly because once again, a lot of magic can backfire. But I feel like I, I feel like up until this mid episode point i was just like i don't see the problem like yes resurrection spell was probably the biggest shit because it was different from the one that you know dawn's going to do this shit was more intense this shit was upper scale 
this was giving sacrifice and Tara don't even know about the deer blood she like she don't know the like the really extremes that you know Willow did to get that spell to work and with Willow she's so confident and cocky you know she know and she she has faith in her magic she knows that she like she has faith she doesn't you know she doesn't believe that things can go wrong so she's like she's made jokes like maybe I should do this and they did that thinking that she will which obviously proves to be the point and like I always like I always I'm like a lot of spells that like, that was probably one of the big spells but like she's done a merge spell in season four like she's done season spell in season two like some of these spells are intense too especially for season two I don't know how intense that spell was but for that, that spell to have a curse on Angel and she did that within a few episodes of learning magic in season two that was a big ass spell that they put on her and she did that shit she was a fresh witch in season two and she was doing that shit that big ass spell easily nobody didn't really care um, that murder spell in season four, they out here getting possessed, sounding demonic. She sounded demonic in season two, um, ending two. And, you know, everybody was like, oh, shit. No one said not do spells anymore. It just came to this resurrection spell where the limit was there. And I was just like, no, like, she's done so many other spells. That I'm just like, that makes a fucking sense. But now, I'm just like, well, oh, that's enough. And... Like, and I mean, in season five, towards the end, she did use that, that dark objects, that dark magic thing, which I don't know if people really knew about, but, yeah. I understand, because now she's not just doing it. She's doing that shit like it's like, she's just doing it on her regular hobby. Like, she's like the Sabrina and the Witch, where Sabrina would, like, change her outfits and shit, and like, yeah. Tara feels like you shouldn't use your magic unless it's necessary, as opposed to Willow, who wants to use it just for her will. Like, she wants to use it in her life. She's a witch. Why not use it for simple tasks and make things better? Like, why Why should I walk to the kitchen downstairs when I could just make the shit float to me? Like, you know, with Tara having that more restricted and more, like, her following the rules and guidelines of this, it opposes from what Willow does. Willow is, like, more free-spirited. Like, she's more, like, you'll go with the flow. Let's do it. I'm not going to limit my, my witchness. And... It kind of just fucked me up. Um, not gonna lie, because this was an argument that they were having. And not only did she just say that she's about to send them kids, I mean, them kids down there, them people that's partying to another dimension for a few seconds. She joked about that shit. And then she tried to justify this, like, the spell. And that's what I'm like, that's enough. You know, Yes, use it when necessary, and if you want to use it for, like, the, uh, you know, the party, which I don't know why they got offended at that, like, that, I was like, okay, I guess they're basically hinting what was about to happen now, but, like, the party thing, I was like, if y'all gonna get the decoration, why watch it already out the door, you know, like, y'all literally just, shit, I said, I'm gonna go now, <laughs> then she goes, erase it, that's gonna fuck things up, and I know for a fact it will, that means that willow knows that she's probably wrong in a sense and she don't want to handle that because if anything her and tara are going to continue that fucking argument like tara's not going to forget that he did that and that's kind of fucked up and like i feel like me literally early in this episode i was like i'm going to defend her no matter what and honestly i'm just like i'm going to defend her but right there that was fucked up like towards the half the second half of this episode i'm like willow but anyways you know make sure to like comment and subscribe for more buffy reactions let me know what y'all opinion was to this episode i feel like i mean specifically on the willow part and even on the dawn part especially on the willow part let me know y'all comments um and you know and opinions in the comment section down below um pay chomp link link to full buffy angel share more reaction twitter and discord be also linked so you can talk to me about this episode i'll see you whenever i upload until next time make sure you be safe peace